Look at us young African leaders who are making headways in our countries. We have made remarkable contributions to our work. But how we became such great people started with a process and at a point in our lives I like to refer to as the fragile phase. A phase where we start to discover ourselves. This phase can either make or break us. Now, let me tell you about my fragile face. At a very young age, I lost my father. So me and my siblings had only our mother to look after us. Single parenting, as we all know, is a challenge faced by single parents all over the world, not just in Africa. It is especially challenging for single parents who live in countries where job opportunities are limited. That is the case in my country, Liberia. Mama had a certificate in maid wifery, but she could not find a job closer to home to be with her children, mostly her last child, me. So she had to work out of town, coming home to us once a month for only two or three days. Even though my siblings took care of me while mama was away, I was still missing something. It was probably because my siblings and I are years apart in age. They already had a life of their own, which I could not fit into. So I too needed a life of my own. As I began my teenage years, I was shy and withdrawn. I did not know how to express myself or get along with others. So I never had a lot of friends to hang out with. What did I do? to fill up my time, which I had a lot of during those days. I became focused on reading. Because a book does not require its reader to fit in before reading it. My neighbor had a library in her home, which I enjoyed visiting. It became my safe space. At 13 years of age, I was fascinated with books about plants. When my neighbor noticed, she started helping me to develop my interest by purchasing more books about plants for me and sometimes taking me around the neighborhood to identify plants I read about. She always told me, if you continue to read, you will become a better person and you will associate with great people. Well, look at me today, an agriculturist, connecting with great leaders like you. I wish she had lived to see how her impact during my fragile phase influenced the person I am today. Some of my peers are also doing good because they too, like me, found positive activities to engage in during their fragile phase. But others were not so lucky. Some became teenage mothers, high school dropouts, and even drug addicts. I don't know how your fragile phase was. But the fact that you are here today is evident that your fragile face did not break you. It made you. Even though my work as an agriculturist is time consuming, I still find the time to invest in the lives of teenagers in my community. Because I too want to help shape the fragile phase of their lives into years of focus, determination, and hard work. Thank you.